YouTube, what is up? It's your boy, Chef Stacker LA. Happy Sunday afternoon. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment uh, before you head out. So, let's recap the Van Nuys Coin Show. Um, it was a one-day show, guys. Strictly Sunday, one-day show. Um, and for those of you who haven't been to the Van Nuys Coin Show, um, in my opinion, it is one of the smaller shows in the circuit. And um, and today, it really felt like the smallest show in the circuit. Um, there wasn't a lot of dealers there. I mean, there was definitely a few slots missing. And I got there 10.30 in the morning, and I didn't really see a whole bunch of people in there. The crowd wasn't that large. Um, in comparison to the last Van Nuys Coin Show that I was at, it was cracking. There was a lot of dealers that day. And I, mind you, I went also on a Sunday, and there was a lot of people buying. I didn't see a lot of buying today. Um, I didn't do a lot of buying today. I did, of course, leave with something, and we'll get to this shortly. Um, but yeah, I didn't do a lot of buying today. Uh, let's see. 90% silver was selling at times 18 and a half. Half dollars were, uh, depending on which dealer you spoke with, um, was around 19 to $20 uh, face. So 90% was between 18.50 and $20. Um, let's see. Buffalo rounds. I saw a gentleman buy a tube for 560 so that tube was broken down to 28 dollars around as i was leaving the show one of my buddies that was with me mentioned that he heard somebody say he had rounds for 26 i was asking around i didn't see anybody with 26 dollar rounds um which is what basically a, a dollar and a quarter over spot um but 28 dollars is what i found for generic buffaloes $29 for Philharmonics. I didn't check this price on Silver Eagles, which I normally do. So sorry, guys. Um, there was a lot of Silver Eagles available. Uh, again, I didn't check pricing. You guys hear that thunder roaring back there? Um, I, I guess we're going to have a storm tonight. We'll see. Wait and see. I left my umbrellas at work, so I am screwed. I will be getting wet if I go outside tonight with my girl. Um, let's see. I did ask pricing on some Mexican ounces, um, you know, the ones with the, uh, the large bell, the, the ones I really like, and those were $35 each, which is pretty solid uh, because they are from, you know, usually they're from like 79, 80, 81. Um, I think they're beautiful coins. I do have a few myself. Uh, every time LLC pops one up on his auctions, uh, I'm usually the guy that's buying them. Unfortunately, he has no, any, he doesn't have any more, so uh, I'm not buying any more ounces. But whenever I see an ounce of guys, I try to get my hands on it. I'll pay anywhere between 33 and, you know, 38, 40 bucks for one. They were on sale for 35, but I didn't bite because, uh, and they were in great condition. Because uh, I wasn't, you know, I wasn't really planning on buying anything unless I found a really good deal. And even though $35 is a good price, it's not a great deal. 33, 32, now we're talking. Um, you know, I would have bought in a few. Let's see, regular Libertads, the 1982, 83, 84, those were selling for like 40 bucks a pop. They were in great condition, but uh, man, that's expensive. It's a lot of money for an ounce of silver. I'm a stacker, so I don't stack pieces of silver that way. Uh, they're high in premium, too high, but I do have some in the collection, right? My collection pieces, um, I got a 1982 Libertad because that's my birth year. So, you know, I, I buy pieces like that every now and then. I do not consider those. Of course, they're adding to the stack in weight, but um, I, I count those more as my collection pieces. Um, gold, gold was, uh, gold was expensive. I didn't really ask pricing on gold. I'm pretty sure, I think I overheard somebody say they had gram bars for $100. Um, that's expensive considering I bought a gram bar a few months back for 80, which was still a way over spot, because the spot back then, what was like 65, 62, 63? I mean, a gram right now, spot is 70. So just to put it in perspective, I bought my bar months ago for 80, and spot's 70. So it's still $10 over spot. 
but to see them potentially going for a hundred dollars wow do you guys you guys hear that well, i hear it and i feel it it's like it's, you can feel the, the the trembling in the in the earth from it um anyways shoot i'm kind of losing focus because of the freaking the you know the the thunder brewing in the background there um Owen says libertad's totally lost focus um so let's just move on uh van ice coin show I met some buddies there. My girlfriend, first of all, came with me. Um, John Doe, who purchased my MS61 Double Legal, he was there. He joined us. Um, who else was there? Uh, Scrooge McStack was there. There was OC Stacker was a little late, but he popped in. We had lunch after. Scrooge, OC, my girl and I. Delicious uh, shawarma place in Van Nuys, very close by. I think it was called um, you know, Fresh Mediterranean so so tasty a little overpriced but you know what good food is usually overpriced especially in in this economy 13 dollars for a shawarma um that's better than 15 dollars shawarma what's better than 13 dollars shawarma 12 dollars shawarma you know what i'm saying uh, but they were there uh, a friend of mine we'll call her jane doe she is um ex wnba um women's basketball player and champion uh, she joined us, and uh, she had some bouillon to show off, and she had some. She wanted to sell, and well, I bought it because the price was right. So the the really the only purchase I made, guys, is the purchases you see right in front of you. From my friend Jane Doe, I purchased, and she came in with uh, one gram bar, who one of the dealers there offered her sixty bucks for scumbag, but you know I get it. I won't use his name, but he's in the front somewhere. Um, but you know, that's $10 under spot. I get it. You got to make money and stuff, but geez, like, you know, offer spot, offer five under spot. Like, you know, gold's only going up in my opinion. And as of three o'clock today, the price of gold did, has gone up. And let me check spot price really quickly. It was, uh, like 21.75. Now it's 21.79. So it's up $4. Just like, uh, I thought it would, I thought it was going to go up a little bit. And I did listen to uh, Bald Guy Money this morning. So he kind of like assured me, hey, today's, if you're gonna buy some gold, buy some now, buy a little bit, even if it's a fractional piece, just buy some gold. So I tried to buy that gram bar for 70, which was spot. But my friend uh, decided to hold on to it, which is totally fine. But she did sell me $10.25 uh, face value. 1025 in, in pre-64 quarters, which guys, you know, I'm trying to fill some guardhouse boxes. So um, I was definitely interested in some of these in these quarters. And this is all she brought. Uh, I got these at a great price, 17 and a half times face, which is great because the cheapest price I saw today at the show was 18 and a half. She also had these two really beautiful bars, Sunshine uh, Mint bars, um, which I have some rounds like this. And they're pretty old rounds, right? Probably 90s, early 90s. Uh, so I'm going to assume these bars have, have some age to them. She's had them for over five years. She brought she bought some bullion pre-COVID. Um, so I'm, I'm sure she made a little bit of money here. And even if, of course, she's not making a lot, but she did hedge her wealth, her purchasing power. And she was very happy to be cashed out. 25 bucks. So I basically got these just about a spot. 25 bucks each plus 1750 here. Two, and I rounded up a couple of cents, $230. And I told her at the end, I go, listen, throw that grand bar in there and I'll round this up. I zelled her a payment. I'll round this up to 300. And she's like, you know what? I came in with the intention of selling all of this, but I'm going to leave with the gold. She wasn't aware of the spot price of gold going up so high until I showed her. I showed her to check Atmex. She was very surprised. So at that point, she was like, I think I'll hold on to the gold. I go, yeah, that's fair um you, you know it's it's only going up um so she held on to it which i'm cool with because she's a good friend of mine and uh, i'm happy i got some quarters at 17 and a half they were they were offering her two dollars three dollars each uh, i won't use the dealer's name but again he was in the front uh somewhere in the front in the entrance and uh yeah uh, very you know low balling like crazy but you know what that's how they got to make their money I get it, but maybe they'd make more consistent money if they were just a little more consistent 
and giving people better deals. That's the that's the uh, the whole reasoning behind friendships, relationships, you know, business relationships, partnerships. You know, everyone has to win a little bit. You know, and if you're just trying to take, take, take from everybody that walks in, um, you know, you're, you're. I don't put it this way. I don't see a lot of business happening on on some of those tables. Um, but yeah, we stuck around for about an hour and a half. Uh, I checked out some jewelry. I was looking for pricing on on Buffalo Rounds. Finally, found some pricing. Did see some nice jewelry, but um, unfortunately. The jewelry was just too heavy, which means expensive, right? But the pricing per gram was pretty good. So I got to give it up to the, the gentleman. I forgot his, the old man's name, but he was giving some good pricing on some of his jewelry, which tells me, you know, they, they want to sell. Um, of course, I made my way to Sebastian, chatted with him a little bit, came back around again, said a couple things, came back around again, said a couple things. You were, you know, chatting here and there. And, you know, I, I took off. Didn't buy anything from my boy this time, but, um, you know, Sebastian, it's tough because he has all these, like, really nice specialty pieces, high premium items. Not super high premium, right? But, like, me as a stacker, it's, like, I'm looking for, like, generics and stuff and, and, and numismatic and uh, low premium stuff. So it's hard for me to buy from him as often as I'd like to because he's such a nice dude. Um, but he was there, and, of course, I chatted him up. Uh, Stacy wasn't feeling well, so Stacy, hope you're feeling better. I'll see you at the next show, man. Guys, I don't know when the next show is, um, but I'm sure it's uh, probably Arcadia in April. Uh, and from an, I got an inside scoop from one of the viewers here who said he's a promoter for that show, that it's not closed down, that they're still gonna run a show in Arcadia, which is great news, guys. I mean, you know, you want to see these things, even though you know they got robbed a few months back. You you, you want to see people recuperate. You want to see people like um you know persevere and move forward so i'm glad they're not stopping doing a show in arcadia i do like that show it is it is a pretty decent sized show and it's close to home to where i live so um hope to see some of you in arcadia i'll be there sunday and uh, i'm sure there's another show somewhere in between 